Hey there, it's Billy Tarasia from Modern Law continuing on in our series of parenting guidelines and parenting guidance during this COVID-19 crisis. And this is video number four, and it covers what to do if you've got a parenting time order for parenting time to occur in public places or for parenting time to be supervised. Now this is particularly tricky because if parenting time is supposed to be supervised and you're either supposed to be at a center or there's supposed to be someone like a grandparent supervising and you've got these restrictions down, you may have people who are unwilling to supervise and what to do then. So for parenting, if your parenting plan states that parenting time should occur in a public place, you should continue at locations permitted under our applicable order. So right now, hiking is, is allowed. Um, the, the trails are not closed. Playgrounds are closed, but parks are not. Bike rides are allowed. Um, you should avoid things like uh, picnic tables and railings, but being outside and therefore in public is still allowed and encouraged, and that's where the parenting time should happen. If you can't do that, um, if you're not, if you can't maintain social distancing while in public, then you should look to um, have virtual video conferencing, telephone contact, um, come up with a way to make sure that your children are still connected to their other parent. Now, what about supervised parenting time? If supervised parenting time is ordered and the supervisor is unavailable for any reason, the parents should work collaboratively to ensure that parenting time continues to occur in a manner that promotes the children's safety and well-being, such as finding an alternative supervisor. Now, the primary residential parent may supervise the contact, and you can also have parenting time virtually via video conferencing or telephone. So you're going to want to get creative on who can supervise, and you're not you really are discouraged from using um, your supervised parenting time, parenting plan to um, thwart parenting time between the other parent, the supervised parent and the child. Uh, think about whether or not that could occur in public places. Think about whether you could be the supervisor. Now, of course, if there's an order of protection in place, that gets even trickier because order of protections are not suspended just because, um, you're now encouraged to act as a supervisor. So, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a spouse, maybe it's, um, I don't really encourage older siblings to ever be supervisors or siblings from an, another relationship to ever be supervised. Some parents try to do that. Um, but you know, that's it's up to you. You guys can decide to whatever you decide on. Next up, we're going to talk about traveling parenting time. So what happens when parenting time requires travel? Um, and so don't, forget to make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss that. The bottom line on supervised and public parenting plans is that this uh, lockdown by Governor Ducey um, and the guidelines of the CDC do not suspend your obligation to make sure that both parents have parenting time with their children as often as possible per whatever parenting plan is in place. Stay tuned for what's next.